Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. I woke up to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Uh, another night of rest asleep. sleep. Day after day, I can feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as a thought crossed m my mind, the sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Hey! A fantastic morning, isn't it? T Tucker? Hmm. Now then, if you're pardon the interruption. Without waiting for a reply, Tucker barged into my room. What you want, Shad? What's up, Tucker? <laughs> no matter how intently the stormy seas may betray me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Um, I'm not sure I understand what the fuck you're on about, mate. Without a doubt. And if you can do it alone, just find someone to support you. And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you, and you can support them back. You hear me? That's how you can overcome any storm. Well, also just stay in the car or a house, because then the car it all bounces off, and a house you're fine anyway, because nothing in there could kill you. Anyway, I was thinking about it last night, and I decided we all really need to come together. All really come together. And that was when I realized, every morning from now on after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. And, and that was the beginning of our fe fateful day. Please head to the dining. Fateful line of events, actually, not just a day, because day would be like just one day of doing it. Please head to the dining hall if you are this convenience. Well, I'm going for a shit, mate, and then I might, alright? Or I might just eat the shit. That's all for now. I have to go let everyone else know the good news. Tucker didn't even wait for a reply. He turned around and left before I could say anything. Well, I guess I better head to the dining hall. Leave the area. Um. Right, dining hall. What do you want, bitch? Um, Tugger? What's your problem? What? Oh. Oh, I was just wondering what you were doing here. You should probably head to the dining hall, right? I I know. I just need to p p prepare myself mentally. Prepare herself. What is she talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I I'm so n nervous. What's she so nervous about? She wants to get on Bayaka's cock. Actually, it's like this really like funny bit where. Um, in one of the games where she basically um, says about like basically she's trying to impress Bayaka right <laughs> and it's like it's so like wrong she's just like oh you've done so well and then there's like white just splatters everywhere oh it's so horrible but it's so funny listen to me Okay, it looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our very first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen. Everybody, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come. Yeah, really busy. Oh my god, the amount of shit I could have been doing right now. Jesus Christ. Give me a break. I didn't make time for this. I didn't make time for shit. You dragged me here. Hmm. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but. In order to get out of here, it is certain sure that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat. <laughs> you, you wanted me to eat breakfast with other p people? I've never done any turned up uh, before I'm not sh sure I mean, seriously yeah it's been a while for me too but more important well anyway did anyone happen to come up with any clues sign a second throughout the dining hall seriously nothing at all hey any anything I could 
be about to anything. It can be about how to get out or who's doing it. Nobody has anything. Are you okay with this? You are going to die. Huh? <laughs> I like Celeste. <laughs> Just because she fucks with everyone. Huh? Do you understand? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it! What? What the hell? Don't even freaking joke about that! <laughs> I am not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? So you'd better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, sounds like what? a girl wants to live here, and how? More power to her. But shit. Piece of shit! No way in hell am I living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. <laughs> hmm, sure. Feel free. Huh. Uh... Okay, so nobody has any clues. What the heck? One thing I can tell you is who's behind all this? Somebody who's totally weird or messed up. Why else would you be trapped in here for the first place? Hey, listen. Well, sure, it could be something like that, but for right now, extra clues are. Uh, um. Uh, um. Uh. <laughs> Fucking out, mate. I mean, yes, it's a bit annoying, but jeez. Huh? What's up? Um. If you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre, do you think maybe the person responsible for this is, could be a certain. Murderous fiend? Murderous fiend? Jerry, do you have some idea who might be behind all this? Mm. Well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but... Suddenly, it's not a concern right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you may have. You know? Oh, okay, well... If you guys... Yeah, I thought it was going to be uh, him, even. Have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? Because I was looking at her, and I got yeah. You mean that serial? You mean that serial killer who's been in the news and all over the internet? <laughs> the monstrous villain who's murdered so scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene, written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him <laughs> Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. <sighs> he, see? They say he. They say he's claimed over a thousand victims. Mm. I forgot this. Wait for a second. That's just an urban legend, though, right? I mean, even like 10 people would be totally insane. Mm. Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is. He's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. Huh? And if he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. But, but like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything. It's just a thought. Hey, hold on. But if they're the killers, isn't that like a killer of problem? Like a killer of problem for us? Haha, <laughs> I make joke. Yeah. It's okay, everything seems absolutely positively, 100% without a doubt gonna be okay. Cause help is gonna be here soon, I'm sure of it. Huh? 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 Help? I mean... What the Rocky? We've been stuck in here a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. Monokuma's gonna show up and say no. <laughs> yep, knew it. Bum, 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 bum. What's this? The police? You're putting faith in the police? Bastard. What are you doing here? You guys? You guys, seriously? Do you understand my brother? The police even exist to fill? Oh, they're good for us, boy in a foil. Playing against a villain or an anti hero or evil organization. The bad guys come along and destroy them, and that just shows how badass they really are. <laughs> are you sure you want to rely on such an unreliable group of losers? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on! If you really, really want to get out of here, you all you gotta do is kill. Ha ha ha! clad tonight. What the hell? What the? 
Sorry about my voice crack there. Why the hell are you laughing? You know? I'm just impressed with the total commitment to this. Oh, you fucking idiot. To this whole act. Oh. You're still going on about that? You're fucking dead. So, Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, what the hell do you want? Huh? Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, huh? That's a pretty long name. German name. Hey, come on. We know who you really are. We know who you really are. There we go. Sorry, I did that wrong. Maybe if I ignore you, you'll just go away. You son of a bitch. Hey, don't ignore me, asshole. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's get back to business. Your life here has been has already begun a couple days to come by, and nobody's killing anybody. I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together. I'm blind, totally bored. There's nothing you can say to. There's nothing you can say to make us start killing each other. I got it. Wally, I think. Yes! Ding, ding, ding! I figured it out. In other words, all the mystery ingredients are right here, right people, right place. So why hasn't anybody killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand, but I just realized there's one very important piece missing. What? What are you? <laughs> if you want to know, I'll tell you. It's motive. <laughs> it's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking around. Motive? What the fuck are you talking about? Hey. Um. Oh. By the way, it's something I want to show you guys. You son of a. Stop bitch. changing the goddamn subject. <laughs> I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Oh, oh but don't worry, it's not some pervy kind of video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. It's a special video for each of you showing what's going on outside the school. Um, outside the school? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, Master is so impatient today. Why don't you just watch it and find out? Here in school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. Good. Then we can we'll go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know. You. What are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know, I fucking kill each other. It's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be somewhere. That's all. That's all. Well, now, if you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out for yourself. Hmm. Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hidden within the school. I won't try and stop you. Because <laughs> to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. <laughs> so I guess I want amusement from you too. Oh, I love voice and Monica is just like so high energy. He's gone. And once again, he left before we could find out anything useful. Is that right? Really, I think we learned something very useful. Hang on. Wait, I might have to change these voices. So Celeste is like... I think... Yeah, okay. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. Oh, yeah. However... Perhaps. But what about a video we mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so... Mondo started glancing around the dining hall. But when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah! Hey, Mikoto! Check this out for us, would you? Huh? Why me? Yo. Because you're closest to the door. That's a rule, right? R rule? Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey! Piece of shit! Hey! Stop you there! Around. Come buy my shit! You see, I'm passionately, I'm begging you. What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. Okay, okay. <laughs> Fuck it out there. Patch! Oi! Patch, pack it in. Oi! Patch! Uh, 
Oh, okay, I guess I'll get going then. Hell yeah. Awesome, thanks. I owe you one. Hey, um If Makoto's going, I'm if Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing. The McCann's on both of ya. But if it happens, just yell and I'll come running. She's gonna murder me. She's gonna murder me. That's why she wants me and I I can't decide I can't decide if Mondo is totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I'd have to say he's kinda of both. He's not exactly a bad he's not exactly a bad person. But I definitely can't say he's a good person either. Mm. So then, where's this specific place mine Guma mentioned? Must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but... If there's a place set up to watch DVDs, then I know exactly where it is. Do not do run it. I have played this game before, and thus I know where to go. Haha! Well, I haven't played this game before, I've watched this game before. Right, map, where's the one with... <laughs> Dog almost started barking again. Oh yeah, it's the, it's the bomb the cloud fucking video tape one. Oh, beatboxer, I'm not sure what it is. Huh? There's something inside this cardboard box. It's a bunch of DV, a bunch of DV days, and each one has a label on it with somebody's name. That this must be video for each of us, you mean. I better go tell everyone. She just run off. I didn't oh shit, I should have checked the room first. Bollocks. I didn't follow after, I just stood right there where I was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. No, yeah, well, I wanna check the room first, so fuck off. Fuck off, buddy. Maybe I'll sort of find it before I can get to sort of through. Oh no, don't do that. Sort of through the DVDs I found in the box. Found the other ones with my name. Then I slid it into the expensive looking player. I sat down and started intently watching the darkened screen. And then... I yelled out without realising it and my heart started racing. Because what I saw on that monitor... It was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If it had ended there, that would have been fine. Message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peak, it would have given me hope. Given me strength. It was, if this was a normal school, I would have been happy, if a little embarrassed. With my family support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here now, it was totally different. I wasn't living, in an, or living an ordinary school life, so I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. And it doesn't. I hated having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. Yep, there we go. House is destroyed. This time I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where'd everyone go? It looks like a war zone or something. As if in reply, a voice came floating out through this, of the speakers. I recognized the voice. Of course, it was him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Peak Academy and his family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like Something's happened to this family's well-being. They did. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Look for the answer after graduation. What is this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me like hot magma. God damn it! I slammed my fist against a desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I possibly think of anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now. I need to make sure everyone's safe. Makoto? What happened? Make sure who's safe? I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room. They stared at me. Faces full 
of confusion. Um. What's going on here? What's going on? What's going on, Captain? Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Is it like? Is that what Monica was talking about? What does this mean? What's on them? They all gathered around the box, and each of them grabbed the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they rushed to a monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What the, what the fuck? Huh? This, this, this can't be real. It has to be fake, right? Hey, hold on. Yeah, no, no way it's real. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I, I can't take this anymore. Let me out of here. As soon as I saw their reactions, I knew. They'd all seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave, so that we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It's the classic prisoner's dilemma. Oh, there we go. Just do it. Mm -hmm. Ha! I forgot you were alive. You threw me, fat kid. Hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries on the brink of war. Both views, but both countries want peace, and each commits to stealing, to scaling back their forces as a good sign of faith. It's a sign of good faith, but there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country falls lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales back their forces. They both end up betraying each other. Do you In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. Basically. He's winding us up, making us go, oh my god, I want to find out where they are, what the fuck has happened. I gotta get out of here. How do I get out of here? Oh yeah, I killed someone. You go kill someone, you graduate. <laughs> that kind of sounds like like us right now. Everyone says they'll work together, but in our hearts, we're all afraid someone might betray us. Don't put all those awful thoughts into my head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You can say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just... What? Hey. This is exactly what Monokuma or whoever's behind us wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? Yeah, you're right. We all need to calm down. Okay then, maybe we should... Maybe we should start by all just talking. Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, that'll help everyone. Help get everything out of our system. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Sayaka. Uh -oh. What was in your video, Sayaka? What's your problem? What's wrong? Just, just hurry up and just tell us. Sayaka. I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. STOP IT! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran oh. off. Sayaka? That's enough. Let her go. I I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> I I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what ha ha happens to her person. What? That's because you're com totally flawless. Um... Thought... Th th <laughs> fuck. I'm really worried. <sighs> Then why don't you go do whatever you think you have to? We don't all have to stick around here together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways. But I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. After I check the room for Monokuma coins, thank you. Ah, oh, yes, boy. There we go. 